Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. Today I'm going to build a bandsaw box with a twist and the twist is it doesn't actually use a bandsaw. I don't know if this is a great idea but it was something I tried. I built one for my daughter to try it out and she loves it. Today I've selected some different pieces of scrap from the scrap wood pile and up till now I've used these side pieces here. And by the way I keep getting asked this is camphor laurel and it came from a local business that make chopping boards and that's why it has this irregular shape. I'm going to use these end pieces here. I've got a few that I've picked out of the pile and these I reckon are still considered scrap even though they're a sizable chunk and that's because the grain runs in this direction. If it ran in this direction it would be a lot more usable but luckily it's perfect for what we're making today. I cut quite a few of them just so I had a choice and I can find a nice piece for the front. This should all start making some sense in a minute but this is the front piece and this is the front piece of the drawer and what we need to do is remove part of it so I'll turn it round so it's facing downwards and I've got the bottom facing towards me and I'll line that grain up so it's in the right position and I've set my square so it comes just over halfway from the bottom I'll make a mark there i use my square again and I'll set the depth of the inside and then I'm going to transfer that around so we'll take our mark here so now we need to remove all this section here With the grain lined up on the centerpiece, we'll just take the front of the drawer that we just cut and place that on top of that drawer in about a level position. This isn't really that important because you don't see the drawer unless it's open and it never gets matched to this piece anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And with this back piece, we just cut that one right off. I've just drilled this hole here and made sure I didn't come through the front and that's to put a magnet in it. And we need to do that now because if we glue those two halves together, you can't get a drill bit to it and I found that out the hard way when I made the other one. And you could also take a little bit more out because you can only drill so far because of the point of the forcing a bit. So with a gouge you could just carefully take a little bit more out and then the magnet will be closer to the front and it will work a little bit stronger. But you need to be very careful 
not to come through the front. It doesn't need much just to pull the drawer out, so it's lifting it up, so that should be enough. The curve of the hole saw is quite wide, much wider than a bandsaw would be, so because of that I'm going to put these little runners, I'm going to glue them to the bottom of the drawer, I'll set them back about a quarter of an inch so you won't see them, and then when the glue's dried we can sand those off to make sure that the drawer is centred in the hole. And as you can see, even though the curve's quite wide on this one here, it still looks quite effective. I'll measure around so far, I'm going to go about 30 millimeters, same the other side. I'm just lining this grain up and then I'm going to tape it in place so it stays in the correct position. I've just cut these small pieces and they were from the waist from the front of the drawer. I'm going to glue these now into the side of the front piece and they will act as runners and guides to keep the drawer in the correct position. They're a little bit misaligned, but that's okay. The main thing is keeping the holes in line because I'm going to cut these with a 10 degree taper. So there's plenty of room there, as long as it's only a couple of mil or so off. And then with two of the edges going from the front and tapering towards the back, we'll just go from the corner. So there's one edge and the opposing edge. I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to get some scrap wood challenge t-shirts made up but that was mainly for me but they are on my shop if anybody wants to buy one I'm not sure if anybody really would but they're there anyway if you do and you can find that through my website or I'll put a link in the description below. I've just cut this small plug with a plug cutter. It's the same size diameter as the magnet, that's 10 millimeters. I could have used the dowel, but I didn't want end grain. I wanted to match the front of the box, so I picked a piece of scrap that was similar. Now we need to drill a hole for it.
I'm not really sure what to make of that one, but it was fun and it used up some scraps. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.